Buju, Kinamagi Nene, Alamana Dijnikas. And welcome to our first edition for 2023 of our Weeks at a Glance. We begin in our classroom stream page. This is located within our Google Classroom, which students may access using any device on which they can download Google Classroom. Google Classroom, again, is a spot where I can show important notes. I have links to some of our content, such as math. And if you look on a math, you can actually watch a YouTube video on many of these of me teaching you lesson in, I think, about two years ago. It's a good spot to get information. Also a Zoom link, so if your student's home, um, and they know what time math is, we always do math over Zoom due to some logistics in the classroom that makes it a little bit easier, but it also allows for you to watch at home. If you're absent and need to watch more of it during the day, you are welcome to just send me an email and I will make sure that happens. We do have our contact information there, um, today's newsletter, which we'll talk about in a moment, and our breakfast and lunch menu for the month of January. Let's begin with our newsletter. Just a reminder, we do assign homework on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, this is intended to help students develop that responsibility that will help them be successful in, in middle school. They're not super long assignments, 10 minutes maybe, uh, on content that we've worked on or just a little extra practice. Um, purpose isn't to have hours of homework at night, but just enough that they're responsible to bring it home and then bring it back. It is advantageous to students if you would ask them about that on Tuesdays and Thursdays to make sure they did their homework. Our next Friday will be next week. Um, more information will come on that in next week's edition. Reminder that we are doing Popcorn Fridays. Your children brought home a note yesterday. Students can buy up to four bags at 50 cents per bag. Your students should have also brought home the other day from meeting visas a packet on ordering uh, photographs. And these are not the same photographs that we use for the yearbook. Uh, very well done. Uh, if you have any questions or need a packet, please call the front office. Next week, and this is pretty important, we are gonna begin our January testing. And that includes things like the spelling inventory, which we've already done the devils, which is testing the how many words a student can read correctly in a minute, um, some reading comprehension, but also the NWEA. The NWEA is important that it helps us uh, make decisions about what students need to learn next. It also will help measure student progress from September when we took the original test to now. Our tests are tentatively scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Um, students should get a good night's rest. Um, that's another concern I'll talk about in a moment, but in a good breakfast. SCA does serve a free breakfast, so if you're, that works for students, um, but make sure they're getting rest. And before I move on down the page, uh, it is a good reminder as students are still on the body clocks of break to check in with them, make sure they're, um, to, for lack of a better thing, not gaming all night and then sleepy when they get home from school. Um, been a little bit of a sleepy group this week, and I get it, They're two weeks off. Um, but check in with your student and see how you can help them be well-rested and ready to learn. We have a write-up of what we are learning this week. I'm pretty standard for what you saw we were gonna in last week's edition, uh, about what we're going into is we we're wrapping up some things, but we're beginning new things such as a chapter on how patterns are used to solve math problems, looking at the solar system, social emotional learning. So lots of quality content for students. Um, next week, the 13th is also the end of the quarter. So your student may tell you that they're doing a lot of work at school because I do give opportunities for students to earn that last three. Uh, we do standards-based grading. I don't have to say, well, if you got it, you didn't quite get it in the first week of December. No, we have that opportunity for students to show what they know and have a more reflective report card and then a report card that's also useful to me and saying, where do we want to go with the student? And we also have our mission of Emily for the 
from the Ojibwe People's Dictionary. If you click on that link, uh, that link is also on our class pad link. Let's work, look at our week 20 learning plan. And that is right here. I'm reading, you can see the content we're doing. Writing, we're doing a how-to. Math, we only have three lessons because we have two sessions of NWEA and math is the perfect block for it. Science, we're gonna go into mystery one. Uh, social studies, we're wrapping up on, on slavery. This is a tough topic. But this class has done a great job of learning, you know, what the impact was on humans. And also Friday, we'll watch the I Have a Dream speech as the 16th is MLK Junior Day and we won't have school that day. Math Review and Enrichment, we're gonna again be looking at solid figures and shapes like quadrilaterals um, and some last chance assessments as well. Um, those last chance assessments are given to students uh, those students that already only have a two, that's an opportunity to show me that they know the skill. Our web block, these are things that are done in the classroom, but, and a few students have begun taking their checklists home, um, because yes, they can work on these things at home. There are some great resources students can use um, just for their own practice, even beyond that. And then you can see some of our small group information there. Um, there are some things like smaller groups, uh, progress monitoring, gibbles that might not show up on this plan, but is part of our daily routines as well. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a group of students who need some rest after trying to get back in into the groove of it. Uh, Hope everyone has a minogijigad, minwa, from a pink.